Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry Gorsky and I'm Chief Technology Officer of uh, Heblock Solution. Uh, we are a Trondheim based uh, technology company specializing in uh, simulations of surgeon and swab uh, and we have developed our own methodology for how to take account for surgeon and swab in drilling and well operation, calculating something we'll call a dynamic rig heap limit. Uh, this is a series of mini webinars just a couple of minutes each which we'll try to post uh, each week from now on uh, and uh, we would really like to encourage you to participate actively so please comment uh, uh, comment in linkedin in the comment field if you have encountered uh, heave induced surgeon swab or if you have any views or uh, feedback uh, on the downhole surgeon swab induced by rig heave uh, you see my contact details on the screen uh, and, and the first webinar uh, will be about the problem description. So uh, downhole surgeon swab induced by rig heave. And then of course we are talking about floating rigs and drill ship. Uh, this is what this is going to be about. And uh, heave induced downhole surgeon swab will be present in, in any drilling and well operation conducted from a floating rig and drill ship. But of course, how much um, the magnitude will be will depend on uh, the weather and so on. Uh, but the fact is that every time you set slips for a connection, uh, the movement on the rig will be, uh, will be uh, inducing a surgeon swab downhole. Uh, so during the connections, uh, this might be an issue. Also, when tripping uncompensated, uh, which might be for a number of reasons, uh, this might be an issue. And also when tripping on elevators, which is often done to save time, uh, this might be an issue. And uh, to understand the consequences of uh, inducing surgeon swab downhole, we need to relate surgeon swab to the margins. Or, or to the envelope and uh, the first margin is uh, the upper pressure limit in the well uh, it's a frag gradient so uh, the possible consequences of uh, breaching the frag gradient uh, when the rig is moving downwards on a wave and, and the end of the drill string or completion string or liner casing is moving down uh, inducing surge uh, it might be losses uh, mud losses uh, or it might also be well damaged so if you basically frack uh, the well inducing damage in the near well, well bore area and the ultimate consequences of this is downtime in case of mud losses uh, or even reduced future productivity of the well in case of well damage uh, another um, uh, case is uh, when the rig is moving upwards uh, on a wave and uh, it induces a swab downhole, so, so reduced pressure downhole. And um, then we're talking something about as called pore pressure, uh, or it might be collapse pressure of the well. Uh, so the con consequences of breaching pore or collapse pressure can be a, a kick, it can also be a war well bore collapse. If your well bore uh, is a bit unstable and you swab, a uh, well bore might collapse uh, and that might lead to uh, getting stuck with uh, whatever you have in the well, uh, if it's a drill string or completion string or liner casing. And of course, uh, the ultimate consequences of, of this is safety in case of uh, a kick uh, and uh, downtime in case of uh, well bore collapse. Uh, there is another. Uh, there is another instance when a uh, surgeon swap downhole uh, might be an issue which is not related to pressure margins and this is related to limitations of uh, downhole tools uh, and then we're no longer talking about surgeon swap pressure uh, this is more about surgeon swab uh, inducing flow variations downhole um, uh, and uh, some tools such as uh, packers or liner hangers they have a limitation on how much uh, flow uh, it's allowed to have in the annulus before something happens to these tools uh, and uh, this is most often said by uh, the equipment supplier and most often there's some generic rig heave limit 
uh, that goes with this. Uh, but the possible consequences of breaching uh, the limitations of uh, the downhole tools is damage to the tools, of course, uh, and it's also uh, getting stuck, which might happen if uh, if you uh, preset the string by uh, triggering the uh, packer element, for example, too early. So the ultimate consequence of this is is downtime. And uh, if you have encountered uh, any of the situations above, or if you have any comments to this, uh, as I said, you're mostly welcome to uh, comment and uh, please share this. Uh, we would like this to reach as many uh, drilling and wells professionals working with floating drilling rigs as possible. And please also like our webpage uh, on LinkedIn and visit our website uh, www.hevlock.nu. Thank you, and I'll see you next week.